Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to release and renew your IP address. Roll the intro. So a couple weeks ago we made a video that showed you how to go through and clear your DNS cache and to help kind of resolve some website issues. So we're going to kind of uh, spin off of that, create a different video today. And again, today's video is showing you how to release and renew an IP address in the, uh, in the instance that you have some network connectivity issues. Maybe you have a couple computers on the same network and one of them is able to access the internet while the other one is not. This is a, just a small troubleshooting step, a quick actually troubleshooting step that will allow you to go in and see if you can resolve some of those connection issues. Without going further in depth or super advanced on how this all works, you have something called DHCP, whether your router or your modem is handing out those IP addresses. Basically that stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and it's just responsible for handing out those IP addresses and sometimes over time they can get conflicted because the, the modem or router will lease those out unless you set them as a static IP. It'll lease those out, the lease can expire after a, uh, after a set amount of time and potentially cause some issues so this will help you go through and clear that out. Uh, first thing that we're going to want to do is it's always good to open up your command prompt in, uh, in a, with uh, admin privileges but you don't have to do that in order to do this troubleshooting step. So if you're on a standard user account, this will still work for you. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come on down to the start menu and I'm just gonna type in CMD and that'll pull up command prompt. You can do a Windows R, which will bring up the run. You can do CMD in there, which will also pull up the command prompt. So there's various ways to bring up the command prompt to get this troubleshooting step to take, uh, to go for you. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit Windows R, type in CMD, hit enter, and it's gonna bring up a command prompt box with your user and your actual current username that you have logged into the computer right now. And you're gonna to wanna to type IP config slash release. And before I hit enter, what's gonna happen as soon as I hit enter, it's going to go through, it's gonna release the IP address that the router has given this particular computer. And if we hit enter, you'll see uh, adapter ethernet. Now you can see connection specific DNS suffix, nothing, default gateway, there's nothing there because there's no IP address assigned to this particular computer. So what we're gonna do is we want to renew or we want to grab a new IP or uh, renew that lease on that IP and we're gonna do, you can hit the up arrow because we are gonna type in IP config again and then we're gonna change it from forward slash release to forward slash renew and hit enter and it will take a moment but what it's gonna do is it's gonna go through and it's gonna grab a new IP address. Now you can see right here the IPv4 is 172318243. Now keep in mind that this is a local IP address that is given to you from your router or modem. This is not the same IP address that is given to you from your ISP or your internet service provider such as Comcast, AT&T, whatever. This is, this is internal only. Even if it does pick up the same IP, it's a good chance that it's going to refresh that or renew that lease, giving you a better chance at solving those connectivity issues. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video or found it informative, give it a like, share the video, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you next time.